were you like as a teenager? And do you feel like the adolescent experience that I guess your children are going through right now has changed a lot since your time? Um, well, uh, I was probably a very difficult teenager. I didn't realize it until I became an adult, but uh, I knew I was sort of a difficult one, but I didn't realize probably how much I was. Um, uh, and uh, my kids are, are uh, so far, re reasonably easygoing in terms of they are demanding and... and uh, they're definitely teenagers, or one of them is a one of them just finished being a teenager, and one's about to start being a teenager. Uh, and I survived the first one, and I'm hoping I'll survive the second, and then the third one's a boy, and I have no idea what that'll be like because girls have their own difficulties and their own emotional challenges, but boys are uh, generally more or more apt to get in trouble just because they're. I don't know, more adventurous, I guess, is one way to put it. But uh, they're more they're more willing to take stupid risks. Mm -hmm. I think women are smarter, and they kind of don't do things like that. They're just kind of emotionally complex, and it all that all comes out as a teenager. This will all be very clear to you in about twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think are some of the greatest challenges facing teens today, and what can they do to overcome them? Um, well, I think the hardest challenge that you'll face as a teenager is to figure out what you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting because a society has not built in any kind of adequate system to deal with that, and it is the, the key decision. You kind of let people float and sort of land and stick to something. But um, y most young people don't get any exposure to the kinds of opportunities that are out there. And I think the one thing that young people can do is to travel as much as they can, have as many as experiences as they can, associate with as many professionals in various fields as they can, as they work, to get a sense of what kinds of jobs are out there, what kinds of opportunities, um, because it's really endless. Mm -hmm. And most kids have a very, very narrow scope of what they have available, think what they have available to them. And even when they go to college, it, it doesn't, it grows a little bit, but it's still, um, the endless variety of kinds of work you can do and careers you can have. And, is amazing and it's important that you find something you really enjoy doing. What kind of advice would you give to like a parent whose uh, kid is very you know, adventurous and uh, on the wild side? Well, I mean all parents are concerned about the health of their children mm -hmm. and the safety of their children and that's the primary thing and I think ultimately my advice would be being a parent is to listen to your parents try to have comp to uh, hope that your, your parents will listen to you and if they don't tell them they need to listen to you don't be shy about it. And then at the same time, realize that for the most part, parents only want you to be safe and self-sufficient. And so they have your best interests at heart. They may not express it well, but yeah. if they say something is really dangerous, take that into account mm -hmm. and think about it because sometimes their experience is worth something. <laughs>